Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Tech Classes. In this video, we will learn about how we can add new columns and rows in the dataset. Now, it may be possible that when we are doing any project and we get any dataset, then on the basis of the requirements, we have to add some new columns and rows in our existing dataset. Also, the new columns can be created from performing different operations on the existing feature so that comes under the feature engineering and also how we can perform different operations on the columns so that we will discuss in further videos in this video we will discuss just only how we can add new columns and the rows in the data set manually so here i will first import a data set pd.readcsv we are using the csv file and the csv file is this one headlines 2csv now this file we have also discussed in the second video in the second part of the pandas tutorial and i have modified the data set because the data set is of 2 lakh and that takes a lot of time to load so just for the example just to make you understand how you can add new columns and rows i have just taken a small subset of the headlines so now you can see it doesn't take any second and it gets loaded and there are only 148 rows so i have taken 148 rows from the 2 lakh data set if i just see the columns so you can see these are the column names now suppose you have the requirement and based on the requirement you want to fill this data set means you have to create a new column and fill in the new column only one single value it can be integer it can be a category or a string value so what you can do is for creating a new column you just have to name the column in the square bracket and this will create a new column for you so suppose i want to create a column that will store the length of the headlines means what is the length of the headline for example length means the number of characters it contains and it will also include the space so how many length so let's suppose we just have to take a standard length of the headline so suppose that is 2000 so i will just create length of headline this is my new column so if this column is not present in the data set then it will be created as a new column and i will just use 2000 here so i have used only one word 2000 you can also pass it as a string value or you can also pass it as a string or integer so 2000 will be stored in every row of this data set if i run this and then again print the data frame then you can see now we have a new column length of deadline headline and it has 2000 in each row because we have only used one integer value so it will be printed it will be stored in every row of the data set so this is how you can just store only single value in the whole data set but what if you want to like store different values in different rows so what you can do first thing is you can pass the list of the length of headline and store it as in the new column so for calculating the length of headline you can create a function okay so you can create a function or just simply a new list suppose length of headline list and i am creating an empty list now in this first i will iterate through the headline so headline in df headline and then i will store in the list of headline then the length of the headline that i am iterating through so list dot append length keyword. 
so length function length keyword what it will do whatever we will pass in inside this it will calculate the length of that so i will pass headline here if i run this and print the list then you can see now it contains the headlines length so you can see all the value is different from each other now what you can do is you can just use this like this statement length of headline and then you can pass the list that you have created so instead of passing only single variable single value what you can do is you can pass the list of the values but there is a constraint if the like length of the list should be equal to the length of the data set otherwise it will give you the error if you see here def data set then you can see now we have the list that has every length of the headline it is stored in the particular row but what if i just this is just to show how it gives the error i am just appending a one like one value extra so like 23 and now if i run this then it will give me error length of values does not match length of index so there are 148 values but in our list there has 149 values so this is the constraint if you are passing any list as a new column then you have to first check if the length of the values like matching with the length of the index or not i will just run again this okay that is how you can create a new column from creating a new list and this list is created from the existing column of the data set these things also come under the feature engineering when we have to extract the feature so what we are doing here is like in other words we can say we are extracting a feature from the existing columns existing features so you can create any list and then you can pass it in the new column so if the like whatever the column name you are passing if it is present in the data set then it will get changed but if it is not present like our like length headline it is not present in the data set so it will be created as a new column and just removing this cell now let's see how we can append any row so for appending any row in the data set what you have to do is you have to create one another data frame with the new rows and that you can append below the original data set for example if i talk about the now let's suppose i have created this dictionary and this dictionary of the list so here i have used category headline authors and the date column and i have passed just the dummy data here so what i have to do this is just suppose we are getting new data in the form of this dictionary and now i have to add this new data after this last row so what i can do is we can add this as a new row and for that just like in the list at the last we like append the elements in the data set also we can append the row so first we have to create this as a data frame so pd and then dot data frame and i will pass this dictionary new data and now you can see the data frame the new one now if you see i have not included all the columns for example in the link in the short description we don't have any data available here if i just append in the original data frame that is the df and then append and then like new data frame so now you can see after 147 we get the two rows and for the columns like we don't have the values there we got the nan value you can see we got the nan values that is how you can append new rows in the existing data set now if you want to change the index what you can do is df dot index equals to range you have seen the range function when you have used the for loops 
So range and then you can pass the length of the data frame. Now you can see. Okay, so I have not changed in the original data frame. So you have to just use this type of statement like after appending the new rows the new data frame will be stored in the df now you can see we got 148 and 149 for the last two rows and if you want to fill the nan values these we will discuss in when we are discussing about the data cleaning in which we can see how we can handle those missing values that is how you can create new rows and columns for the data set and that's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, then please do like and subscribe to my channel for more such kind of video. Thank you.